The 12 letters A through L are randomly grouped into six pairs of letters. The two letters in each pair are placed next to each other in alphabetical order to form six two-letter words, and then those six words are listed alphabetically. For example, a possible result is A, B, C, J, D, G, E, K, F, L, and H, I. The probability that the last word listed contains G is M over N. What is M plus N? So to start this problem, let's first find the number of ways that we can pair off the 12 letters. And it turns out this is actually a pretty well-known counting problem that uh, you should be familiar with. So the number of ways to pair off two n objects into n pairs is given by this handy formula, 2n factorial all over n factorial times 2 to the n. The idea behind this is that we can pair off the 2n letters like so, by just taking any arbitrary permutation of these letters and pairing them off. But the problem is that this overcounts. And specifically, we overcount by n factorial, since the ordering of the n pairs is irrelevant. We also overcount by an additional factor of 2 to the n, because the ordering of the letters in each of the n pairs is irrelevant. So when I plug in n equals 6, I will get 12 factorial over 6 factorial times 2 to the 6. This also equals 3 times 5 times 7 times 9 times 11. That's the number of ways to pair off 12 letters into 6 pairs. Now to find the number of pairings where g is in the last word, we're going to use a little bit of casework. So the first case is that the last word, alphabetically, contains some letter followed by G, where this first letter comes before G in the alphabet. The second case that we're going to consider is that the last word starts with the letter G. So for case one, where the last word ends with a G. This means that the first letter must be any of the letters A through F. And it turns out that the last word in this case must be FG. So why is this? Because we want the we want the word containing G to come last alphabetically. So if my last word was not FG, let's say it was EG, then we're going to have five other words that um, come before EG alphabetically. The problem is that there are only four letters that can possibly be the start of a word. And so if the last word is anything but FG, it will not be the last word, which is a contradiction. So for case one, the last word must be FG. Once we establish that FG must be the last word, then this becomes a straightforward problem because all that needs to happen now is that the five letters that go before F, they have to be paired up with the five letters that go after G. And the number of pairings for which this happens is 5 factorial. So the number of um, valid pairings would be 5 factorial, which is 120. Since every letter from A to E has to be paired with a letter from H to L. Now let's look at case two, where the last word starts with a G. Now for this case, we first need to choose a letter that gets paired with G. Let's suppose that letter is K, just as an example. So this suggests that there are going to be five ways to choose the letter that gets paired up with 
uh, G. Now, a thing to note here is that because there are five words and there are six letters that go before G, we can actually establish that exactly two of the six letters must be paired up with each other. So for example, A and B. And so this is the intuition behind case two, which is a little bit trickier, but still doable. So for case two, there are five ways to choose the letter that gets paired with G. It has to go after G in the alphabet. And then we have to choose two out of the six letters before G that get paired with each other. And then once we do that, we're going to be left with four letters that go before G and four letters that go after G. And no matter what happens, there will be four factorial ways to pair them up. So this leads to 1,800 valid pairings where the last word starts with a G. So adding up the number of ways in these cases, we get 1,920 valid pairings. And so the desired probability is going to be 1,920 over the total number of valid pairings, which is given by this denominator. When we simplify this fraction, we will get 128 over 693. And we're looking for m plus n. And that's going to be 821 as our answer.